For the very latest, let's cross live now to Kyiv and the scene of that attack. We're joined by our Ukraine correspondent, Gulliver Krag. Gulliver, what exactly can you tell us about what has happened there in Kyiv this morning? Well, actually, a criminal investigation has been opened here in the Dysnyansky district of Kiev because the picture that is emerging is that people died because the door to the shelter in the clinic that you was not opened. The husband of the lady died a very emotional, as you can imagine, interview to the Ukrainian media in which he described how they were banging on the door, it wasn't opening, and so he ran around to the other side to a different entrance, and it was at that moment that the impact hit. The impact, the shockwave, I think, uh, of a falling, intercepted Iskander missile, and that killed three people, two adults and one child. So this man's wife, uh, not his child, though, their child survived, but another child was killed and one other adult. Right now, there's a lot of anger here among local residents about why all of the doors to the shelter in the clinic were not opened. The apartment buildings that you can perhaps see one of them behind me as well with broken windows. Uh, a lot of apartment buildings have broken windows. They don't have basement shelters. And so people who live in this area, some of them anyway, if the sirens go off at night, try to make it to the large underground shelter under the clinic. And people here have said that this is not the first time that the doors didn't open. Not the first time the doors didn't open, but it's the first time that it had fatal consequences. Now, Gulliver, these attacks that we've been seeing target and targeting Kiev, they've been coming at a near daily rate, haven't they, over the past few days, the past few weeks even? Well, it's the 18th, I think, in the space of a month, though this is the first day of a new month, and some Ukrainians were hoping that June would uh, bring a new era after a May it was characterised by uh, very, very frequent attacks. These attacks are being carried out by a combination of different weapons, missiles and drones. Last night it was 10 Iskander missiles, three of them ballistic missiles, and seven of them cruise missiles, if I understand correctly the information given by the Ukrainian Air Force. The Ukrainian Air Force, which is responsible for most of the surface-to-air air, air defence systems and whose scorecard is an almost 100% success rate for most of these attacks, they shoot them down, they intercept them, at least in their large majority, but uh, when these rockets are shot down, that doesn't necessarily mean they don't do any damage. Though, of course, it's always worth reminding you that the damage would be much greater if they hit with the full force of their warheads.